Hi, welcome to a video made by a blind person. Yeah, too blind to care what the visuals look like. When the last thing you want to do is get out of bed, but you have to because you have an hour before your door-to-door -door transit window opens. That's where I am right now. Well, usually I don't do get ready with me, but getting ready for me doesn't involve getting ready like it does for most people because a lot of people or women spend several minutes on their makeup. That's not me. A blind person applying makeup, that'll be interesting to watch. For those of you who can see it. <laughs> I don't even have makeup, and if I tried to apply it, I wonder what a maniac I'd look like. <laughs> Certainly not work appropriate. So obviously I don't do makeup. But on the other hand, the good thing about audio is I can just put the recorder down and talk. So if I wanted to do a get ready with me, I guess I could. Which, am I going to do one? Well, there is something that I want my subscribers to understand. And I've said this before. I will say it again. I might say it forever. Really, it's kind of as fundamental with me as just because you're blind shouldn't mean you can't YouTube. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you've seen that one till your eyes fall out because... I say it in every single description video, or every single description for every single video. If you get that far, you've read the whole description. But I believe it. I want to prove it. And that's part of this channel. And there's my alarm telling me I've got 45 minutes, 50 minutes, before my window actually opens. You know, in their book... YouTube secrets, whatever else that's called, I need to look it up. The, this is how to make YouTube work, study guide writer wrote, figure out who your target audience is and figure out what social media platforms they hang out in. First of all, that's probably part of my problem. I haven't nailed down a target audience. I hope you can hear me. I'm on the other side of the room from my recorder trying to get stuff together here. I thought things were together and no, they weren't. Okay. Let's reposition things here. Anyone who actually watches my channel, I really appreciate. But I haven't actually nailed down who my target audience is. And maybe that's one of the things that I'm doing wrong that why things aren't happening for me. But, they said, find out what social media platforms they hang out at. Well, if that's another thing I'm doing wrong, then maybe this isn't destined to happen for me. Because, I have figured out what my two social media platforms are. And, in their book... These guys did not diss those social media outlets. In fact, they said they are quite useful. Use them. We encourage it. But they also said, figure out where your target audience hangs out and learn how to use those social platforms. That I won't be doing. And this is why. Everybody and their freaking sister goes to Instagram these days. And I don't care what anyone says, I don't get Instagram. I... Why do I sound angry? Because there is a blind person out there that I will admit is really making things happen. I will not name him, but... Maybe I should take some of what he offers and see what happens. But he's on this campaign lately. Oh, Instagram is becoming more accessible than ever. And, and follow our business on Instagram. Blah, blah, blah. Instagram's a pain in the ass, all right? Either I don't know how to use the app or... 
The second to the last time I tried to use it, I was reading my news feed or whatever it's called, and it was probably a photo with a caption, but at least they bothered to put a caption on. But I could only see part of the caption. VoiceOver would only read me part of the caption. So I double tap on it, or click on it, or touch it, or tap it, or whatever the terminology is, hoping that the rest of it would come up. Either it didn't, or VoiceOver didn't read it. The last time I used it, which is two or three days ago, I found a video from someone. Wow, a video with sound with her actually talking. How cool. That's not something you always see. Seriously, it's not. I could do a whole video about how nice it would be if more people would put sound on their videos. But, um, I find this video. I click on it. I can actually hear what it is. First of all, was that the whole video? I mean, she was in the middle of an idea when this video started, you guys. She wasn't, she wasn't, you know, it didn't start with, hi everybody. Here's something that I want you to check out. That would help me a lot. It started with, that would help me a lot. So I don't even know what the hell she was saying. And then it was 10 or so seconds of her interacting with her kid. Now kids are precious, but am I supposed to believe that that was the whole video? That was all that was playing and it kept playing over and over again. Okay, after the third or fourth time, I think I know what happened. And it wasn't as cute and funny and ha ha and aww, but I wanted to sit and listen to it a hundred times over, okay? So, hold on, where's what I'm looking for? Hold on. So, I'm getting some stuff to throw some breakfast today, is what I'm doing in case anyone's wondering. Yeah, this is a get ready with me. Get some breakfast, figure out a lunch if I haven't done that already. I should have done that last night, but I am just having this, I don't want to cook stuff lightly. Fortunately, I bought myself some lunch meat, so I can just, if nothing else, I can, I can get some of that. There's some protein, at least. Um, okay, what am I doing? The interaction with the kid was not, Oh, how sweet is that? I could listen to that all day. Enough for me to want to listen to that all day, okay? And I couldn't find the damn, okay, I've seen it enough now, let's turn it off button. I had to close out of the app to turn the stupid video off. Now do you understand why I don't want to live on Instagram? I don't care what anyone says. I don't care how accessible some people think it is. I haven't experienced its accessibility. And I'm just not into Instagram. And I finally just put it on Facebook and Twitter the other day. I said, I just don't get Instagram. This is why Twitter and Facebook are my social platforms of choice. And someone commented, she said, you know what, there's nothing wrong with that. Most of Instagram is visually based content anyway. Okay, you just confirmed why I, as a blind person, really am not gonna get much out of Instagram. So, even if I do nail down a target audience, first of all, my target audience is, <laughs> My target audience would include some of the people that I watch on YouTube, but I'm such a nobody that I don't know if anyone would care to watch that none of them have found me interesting enough to subscribe to yet, or maybe they don't even know who I am because whatever they search for on YouTube, I don't come up. Well, what do I expect? I've got 27 subscribers. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed, by the way. And if you are new and you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you are not new and you can think of somebody that watches videos like mine, please let them know about my channel and encourage them to subscribe or at least say, take a look at one of our videos. Cook time, not set, set, cook time, minutes. How long am I gonna cook this for? Power level. Minute, 
my target audience would include a lot of the people that I follow on social media or on YouTube. Some, if not all of them. The thing about it is, if I had a virtual bucket to drop money into, and someone dropped a dollar or even a quarter into it for every time I heard somebody say, follow my Instagram, I'd be monetized by now through that. Everybody goes to freaking Instagram. Well, I don't care if everyone in my target audience, if I ever nail that down, goes to Instagram. You will not see me on Instagram. Period. End of discussion. However, if you go to Facebook and Twitter, which these guys uh, who wrote this book did say, those are great places too. Um, which is good, because that's where I'm going to go. I mean, that's where my... I may not have nailed down my target audience, but I have nailed down my two social medias that I'm going to be working with. Facebook and Twitter. Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest. Those appeal to the eyes. I don't have functional eyes. I have functional ears. People seem to overlook the ear and the power of the human ear. I've cooked these for a solid minute before and they came out too cooked. Anyway, people overlook the importance of the human ear and hearing things. Sometimes I feel like all that matters in this world to people is what they can see. And I know I live in a sighted world, but the sighted world lives with a million, not a million, millions of blind people. I should look those statistics up again. And we would like to be able to appreciate things too. That's why I do those videos on occasion. Those reaction videos to YouTubers who completely ignored the fact that they have viewers or they could have viewers that can't see their screens. Especially when I outright reach out to them and put in their comments, congratulations on the pregnancy, but I hope when you do the gender reveal, you actually make it something that we can hear and not just see. In fact, I'm going to stop and say shout out to people like Liza Adele and the Powell Tribe for actually doing that in their gender reveal. And fooey on someone else who, I don't know why I don't call her out, but I don't. I Maybe because I feel like she gets enough hate and I don't want to add to her drama. But congratulations. And I, I did finally find out what you were going to name your baby and whether it's a boy or a girl, but only because of Ira. I contacted her when she put her pregnancy video up, which I also had to get Ira to describe because there was no spoken word at all in there. And said, you know, congratulations, I couldn't be happier for you and your family, but just FYI, you do have at least one person, at least one person, maybe more than one person, given something you said in another video. They can't see your screen, so when you do things like name reveal and gender reveal, I know you're going to do them, but please make them something that we can hear and not something that we can just see. Say boy or girl, say the name. And she overtly did not do what I asked. She, it was no spoken word, solely music and pictures. And gotta love Ira, they told me what the picture was, because that's what they do when a blind person calls and says, I'm watching a video and I can't understand it. There's either not enough dialogue to make it make sense, and it's not audio described, or it's a YouTube video with no dialogue at all, no spoken word, period, and I can't figure out what in the world's going on. Can you describe it for me? That's what they do. They're really pretty great like that. But anyways, Instagram and Snapchat and Pinterest, 
I don't care if everyone in my target audience, if I ever nail down a target audience, goes to those social media platforms. You won't find me there. You won't. It's too picture oriented. It's too, in some cases, the app's too inaccessible. Honestly, the only reason I've got a Snapchat is because I wanted to follow a person or two. And even that, you know, I followed them for a little while and now I can't even remember the last time I opened Snapchat to see what they're doing. Fortunately, if I want to follow them, they've got a YouTube channel and most if not all of their videos are pretty followable by the blind. Followable? I don't know if that's a word. Do I have accounts on those social medias? A couple of them. Do I ever use them? No. Will I be posting on them? No. Will I make those my social medias of choice because everyone that ever watches my videos also goes to those? No. And if that means that I'm not going to be monetizable, then I'm not going to say that I'm going to give up on this, but maybe I just need to come to grips with the fact that it's not going to work because I'm not willing to waste time trying to understand social media that has little to no accessibility. I don't care what that one guy says. Accessibility doesn't just mean voiceover works with it in some cases. Accessibility means voiceover not only works with it, the person can work with the app. I just don't expect Instagram to ever be my thing. So, you know, I'm kind of taking something else that they said in this book out of context. But, One thing they said was, I'm paraphrasing of course, but don't let the monetization potential overshadow what's right for you or what's right for your channel. For example, I'm a vlogging channel and I'm an audio based channel. And I'm a blind creator who, in her own way, is trying to prove that just because you're blind doesn't always mean you can't do. And who's trying to figure out what the life she wants is and then live it. And seeing all the success that people are having on YouTube, she kind of wants that to be the life she wants. Or she thinks that's the life she wants. She's thought that for a long time. So if a makeup company reached out to me and said, I'll pay you $20,000 to do a video about our products. First of all, that's a hell of an offer. I don't know if anyone would actually offer me that kind of money. Secondly, if they did, those numbers would be hard to turn down. But I'm not going to do a video sponsored by a makeup company unless I enlisted a sighted person during that video and let the sighted person talk about how they use that product and how it works great for them. Even then, I'm not sure that content is appropriate for my channel because I do vlogs, day in the lives, whatever you'd call them. About my life as a blind person. And you know, it, In that context, a video dropping about makeup just doesn't make sense. That's the context in which they said, don't be so concerned with the money you can make that you lose sight of what your channel's about. But I'm kind of applying it in another way as well. 
I'm not going to be so concerned with the money that I'm going to hang out at social media sites where blind people just don't get anything out of it. I don't care if everyone that I ever wanted to watch these videos does hang out there. And I don't care how many people that I watch on YouTube ask, beg, plead with me to follow their Instagram. Even if I do follow your Instagram, and I've followed a couple of you, I'm still not really going to follow you on Instagram. I'm still not going to like look at your stuff every day because I don't go to Instagram but like once in a great freaking while. And that's mostly to try again, see if I can make it work or Maybe to follow these guys who, they're doing a giveaway and one of the ways that you can enter is by following, or the way you can enter really is by hitting that follow button on Instagram. Okay, yeah, it couldn't be easier, but not on a social media platform that I can't get anything out of. And I can't find the follow button anyway. Either I've already followed them in which case, Instagram should be like Twitter and have a, like an unfollow button that would show up, meaning, oh, I already followed him. Okay, that actually happened the other, it happened last week. I was like, do these people have a Twitter account? I should really follow them. And after a little bit of searching, I found out they did. And it turned out I already did follow them. It's just that they never tweet. Except yesterday. And I don't know if they got the message that I gave yesterday. Because I didn't tag them specifically. But. I'm more likely to seek you out on Twitter. Than I am to find you on Instagram. And I'm not even going to tell you how to potentially find me on Instagram. Because frankly. I'm never going to post anything to Instagram. If that ever changes, I'll let you know. But don't bet the mortgage on it because the bank's going to foreclose on your house before it ever happens. I hope we got something out of this. Oh, hold on. Let me look this up. Actually, I'll let Alexa do it. Alexa, read my latest Kindle book. Resuming from Kindle, YouTube Secrets. The ultimate guide to growing your following and making money as a video influencer. There it is. Go to Amazon, check out that book. I do not yet have an affiliate link to that book, but I should really check that out because affiliate marketing was another way that they talked about monetizing. And that, honest to God, might work better than the monetization that YouTube allows for directly through AdSense. And it turns out, after reading as much of the book even as I've read, and I haven't read it from cover to cover quite yet, but it turns out that as much as I have been waiting for that to to happen for me, and as much as the reason I jumped on the Do Not Demonetize bandwagon is because it threatened... You know, the do not demonetize petition not getting the attention it needed fast enough led to channels like mine being ineligible for monetization even though YouTube deemed me ineligible a long time ago, even before that. But anyway, Even though I still believe in the Do Not Demonetize Petition, even though I'm still going to plug it, it turns out that is not going to be the best way for me to monetize. But, if I ever get an affiliate link to these guys' ebook, I will put it in the description. Until then, you heard Alexa just read the title. Go to Amazon, check it out. If you're 
an aspiring YouTuber that doesn't know where to start. Or maybe you're like me and you've had a channel for a year or two or five and you're like, is it ever going to happen for me? Pick this book up and give it a reading. They'll give you some new perspective. They might point out some of the things that you're doing that's wrong, but they'll give you practical suggestions about what you can do that's right that might just lead to some success. Anyway, check that out. Like, comment, subscribe. Hold on. <laughs> Before I can wrap this up, breaking news about what I talked about yesterday. That woman who made YouTube make money for her, had a huge following, was really successful, and then all of a sudden her channel just disappeared. Yay! She got her channel back. I don't know. Well, I know what happened. A whole lot of us who have watched her videos and who love her and who found out about this and were going, what the hell? made some noise on Twitter and said, okay, somebody do something about this. And the masses of us stood up for her and the power of a lot of people standing up for the fact that we didn't think this should have happened and it deserved to be undone, got it undone. So, the power of a lot of people One, two, three, four. standing up for an ideal. Hello? Okay, I'll be right there. Yeah, her channel's back up. I couldn't end the video without saying that because I'm not going to just throw that in the description. <laughs> I'm going to say it on the video. Now, I'm going to wrap this up, especially now that my ride's here. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like this kind of video, like this video, comment on it, subscribe to my channel. <sighs> In cited terms, hit the bell. When If you hit that notification bell, it will let you know every time I upload a video. Um, is there anything else I want you to do? <laughs> Check out Ira if you're blind or visually impaired. Sign the Do Not Demonetize petition if it makes you as angry as it makes me that you could publish all the YouTube videos in the world, but without a YouTube celebrity status you cannot monetize your videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.